All right, so we got to look at the cues here. Now, it's in a pullback, what I like to look at are the anchor VWAPs, the moving averages. You've got the 10, the 50 simple, the 200, right? So, but look at how it broke through. This was the first area, right? So it broke through, it wedged up on lighter volume on a holiday week. Then once we broke through that and through the 10, we shot lower and here's some another level of support here we broke through that but what i'm looking for is like where's the next potential area of support and i think potentially this candle here and here so we're testing the gap here so the gap up that was a uh, 26 billion dollar volume right there and here's 16 billion so we're coming back on lighter volume uh, this was the biggest one, 23 billion. So you, you had a huge gap up here, right? And then you've got more support down here in this area, which came close to the 50, right? So I think you pull back here on lighter volume today. And now I would be looking for, can we get above this today's high on, you know, can we get some aggressive buying with volume, close near the highs, type of candle, right? That's what I would be looking for, for this market to resume here, higher, and test the, well, it did break, it did break out the all-time highs. What's going on over there, Lenny? Pooping? That's my cat. All right, so yeah, broke out. Let's look at the weekly, right? Look at the weekly volume. It's declining. Okay, so this is a self signal on the weekly chart. So we'll have to, but we have to see how the week closes. We still have two more days. Now, if we if we continue down lower through here, I would look at the 50 as the next level of support and possibly even filling to this gap. Uh, however, I'm I'm preparing myself mentally for a, the chance that this breaks out and reverses higher. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, it's easy to think it will go to lower, and it could, but I'm not thinking about that scenario. Uh, because it's hard to, to think both ways, right? If it, if it goes lower, okay, fine. I want to be mentally prepared and I want to have my watch list ready and have everything ready to go. That If it's going to get aggressive to the upside, I'm going to be aggressive to the upside. If it goes down, then I'm not going to do much of anything. So that's how I'm preparing myself mentally. Um, if I were short biased, then I would be thinking kind of the opposite. Like, okay, we break this low. I want to take it short and I have my stop here.